Hello, I am Kiatrik. I am a trainer for making games with Construct2. I am a moderator on Skara.com forums. I'm an indie game maker and game designer enthusiast. I'm making this video tutorial today for Envato Game Dave Touch Plus. For this tutorial, you need to download Construct2. Go to 3w.scara.com. It's the home page and you can either click on the download button right there or slide to the bottom of the page. You'll see in the middle column there is a stable release. Uh, at the moment of capturing it's the only version available. You could have also a beta release right underneath it. And in general try to keep to the latest version possible. So at the moment of capture of this video it's the version R146 and this is the one you can use or keep to any more recent stable release. Click it. Click on the download button and then just install Construct2 to your computer. Let's see the game we are going to make. It's Small Tactics. It's a turn-based board game. It's designed so that it can work on desktop or mobile devices. There is the credit screen that is uh, interesting from a tutorial aspect as it shows you how to handle the fact of opening a new tab and taking you to a new URL while clicking an object. We go back to the menu, so we have a menu screen also. We have sound toggle, which means that you can have the sound on or off. Play either alone versus the computer or two players. Let's go for two players quickly. That's the game layout itself. You have the transition screen with the player one turn or player two turn and as well as the winning conditions or losing conditions. Click on go. The player one is the blue gem. It has the cells it can move to. Select one cell, player's two turn, select the cell. And then the resolution step in which the pieces are moving and you can see that some cells are being a bit broken as the gems go over them. Let's go back to see it. And I have a few more turns. The winning and losing conditions are pretty important. A winning condition is to be the last gem alive, if you want, on the board. A uh, losing condition is when the two gems end up on the same cell at the end. And you can also lose when you go over a gap. As you can see, it's almost broken right there. Let's finish it. And the player 1 will have the player 1 winning for now. And the player 2 will stay actually on the same cell. It's not a good idea and a good move, but let's do so. The gem disappears, the player 1 wins. Let's go back and have a draw. Both pieces were overlapping each other and it's a draw. Now let's see how to make that game. 